Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my World Chalice Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for November 2019. Wanted to do an update to the World Chalice deck for quite a while now, just been meaning to uh, get around to it. We received some new support for the deck back in the release of Dark Neostorm, and we have a bunch of different summoning methods now that just help overall the World Chalice deck, which is a part of the World Legacy line of cards we received since the release of Code of the Duelist. It's a really fun deck if you're looking for a deck that can link summon pretty easily, but now also uses Synchro and Fusion for a bunch of its different plays as well. Definitely look into building this deck. It's a lot of fun using all the normal monsters with all the different uh, type of support we have added in to the deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off for the monsters, I run three Lee, the World Chalice Fairy. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one World Chalice monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard to add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect of Lee, the World Chalice Fairy, once per turn. But this card is your setup card, being able to add the uh, World Chalice normal monsters to your hand, which definitely help for a bunch of different plays since they have different types and attributes depending on the type of Link summon you want to go for. And the the fact that you can also consistently add Lee of the World Chalice Fairy back to your hand to reuse again is another added bonus. So you definitely need three of her in the deck just for that additional search and just the consistency overall to always have cards in your hand to use. Now I only run, I only have the one World Legacy World Chalice, but I definitely want to run three of this card in the deck. It's so good and very, very easy to summon out with all the different ways you can special summon the World Chalice monsters. If a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, except during the damage step, you contribute this card to send that monster to the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effects of the World Legacy World Chalice once per turn. If this face-up normal summon card leaves the field, you can special summon one World Chalice monster from your deck except World Legacy World Chalice, giving you access to plenty of different monsters monsters you run in the deck for all of its different uh, searches and during your main phase except the turn it was sent to the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one world legacy card from your deck to your hand which we run a good amount of the world legacy spells in the deck as well for all the different search uh, special summon effects they have also so i like to run this card at the three like i said very very easy to summon out and just very easy to make use of for all the different effects also in the deck so definitely want to run this at the full power for this spot and i'll show what card in just a bit that I would take out for the additional numbers of the world legacy world chalice I would run just if I would say one monster and one spell to remove for those numbers one of them being the beckon by the world chalice I have three of this card in the deck for uh, the three different normal monsters but probably would want to run two uh, just to reduce since it is searchable and you can special summon it with other cards from the deck to the field so I would drop this card down to two for the second copy of the world legacy world chalice just a normal monster being the warrior uh, earth monster uh, having that option available and also being able to summon it through unexpected die or searchable by uh, Lee makes this card very very useful for the deck also being a level four gives you access to rank four plays if you like for the extra deck also if you want to go that route for the monsters you summon out for the other normal monsters I run two chosen by the world chalice for this one it is a level three psychic monster so you have this as an option to go into for uh, emergency uh, teleport out onto the field. I also like it when we can get our level five uh, Ib, the World Chalice Justicier, out on the field, making this an option to go into Borlode Savage Dragon once we have our Link monsters in the graveyard all set up as well. Just the two though, once again, same uh, logic for Beckoned by the World Chalice, just having those special summon options with this card. And I only run one Crown by the World Chalice. Um, this card, once again, being a special summon uh, option for the deck or just from the graveyard after you've used her for a Link Summon. Uh, the main reason I use this card is also for the fact that with Ib, the World Chalice Justicier, this one needs a World Chalice Normal Monster, can count as its tuner. So that's the main way you go into this card for the Synchro Play. And Crown by the World Chalice with our other uh, level three monsters definitely does help. But you also have the other options if you need a level two. You can use Chosen by the World Chalice, but I just feel the one is all you need having zero attack and 2100 defense makes it more of a defensive card and not as powerful as the other two normal monsters we run in the deck but still very very useful having the level and typing she is and then for added backup i still really like to use the 
Uh, agent card, so I run the three, Agent of Creation Venus, being able to set up the Shine Balls on the field for 500 life points. Gives you more and more monsters to use for the Link Summon for cards like Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon, which gives you an additional normal summon, just needing one normal monster except a token to make it, which we'll discuss more when we get to the extra deck. For just 500 life points, you don't really use your life for anything else in this deck, so three Venus definitely does come in handy, just so you open up this card and have the consistency, and if you open up Shine Ball, it's just a special summon from the hand or deck, so you have those plays also. So, and speaking of Shine Ball, I also run three of it just to help for max power. If you can get three Shine Balls out and Venus, you have plenty of your Link plays to go into with the extra deck uh, with this card. And you can also recycle them back with some other cards in the deck. So just having that option and then more Venuses available to use helps for you to summon out more out to the field to use for more and more Link resources. And I only have one World Chalice Guard Dragon. I definitely want to run a second of this as well. I would show what copy to take out for this card if you wanted to run a second. When a card or effect is activated that targets your linked monster, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense to a zone a link monster points to. You can only use this effect of World Chalice Guard Dragon once per turn. This card is just protection for your uh, link monsters, but the special summon gives you more cards cards to use on the field. Also, four plays for the uh, second one in the deck. It would probably be one of the next three cards I would take out for this spot. I also run two Exodius. This is the recycle card I was talking about, giving you a monster in the field, but also being able to shuffle back your monsters in the graveyard for you to reuse late game. Very, very useful if you need more cards to go into, like I said, with Venus or just normal monsters to special summon from the deck out into the field. I like to run two of this card just to have the option available, and then if you need it one more time, uh, another good play to go for. This could be one potential target to take out for the second World Chalice Guard Dragon, or the uh, last option can be the Archlord Christia, which I run one of, just for how we can easily control the amount of fairy monsters we have, and then being able to lock your opponent out. Special summoning can really stop a lot of decks for this card. Like I said, with the Shine Balls and the Venus for that link play, can easily put four in the uh, graveyard to special summon this card out. But if you don't really want to rely on the Archlord Christia play, you can take it out for the second copy of the World Chalice Guard Dragon and leave the two Exodius in, because it definitely does help just being an easy summon out into the field for resources to use and then giving you the monsters as well to special summon and then reuse from the deck. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. One of the most important spells I would say in the deck is Unexpected Die. If you control no monsters, special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your deck. This gives you access to basically any of the monsters we run in the deck, including Shine Ball if you really need to summon it out that way. But having whatever you need for these plays definitely does give you resources, opening up your plays for more normal summons, your link plays, you name it. You definitely need three of this card in the deck to fully uh, utilize the special summon mechanics that the World Chalice monsters can use. And I also run two World Legacies Heart. This card is searchable, but also target two World Chalice monsters in your graveyard with different names. Add them to your hand. If your linked Link monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only activate one World Legacies Heart per turn. It's a protection card in the graveyard. The add back effect just gives you more World Chalice monsters to reuse, including the World Legacy World Chalice, Lee, Guard Dragon, you name it. You can grab whatever you need from your graveyard to reuse or just have the hand trap power of Guard Dragon in your hand as well to rely on. I really like running two of this for that add back option because you can easily build up the graveyard as well with those cards. I have two World Legacy Discovery in here. This card adds power and special summon options when your opponent destroys one of the World Chalice cards on your field. But it's searchable with some of the cards, including World Legacy World Chalice. So if you wanted to drop this card down to uh, one, it would be the last option for the three copies of World Legacy World Chalice in the deck. So for the World Legacy World Chalice, your two cards to remove would be the World Legacy Discovery and the Beckon by the World Chalice to make this the three up spot for this card in the deck. But being a field spell also just help just for that power for your World Chalice monsters, but I really do like it at one since it's really just a searchable card at that point for the deck. And I also run two World Legacy Succession. You have plenty of link spots in this deck. So having another option spell card that's searchable in the deck and also giving you the option for the special summon for this. And then using cards like Monster Reborn just gives you more and more monsters on the field to use. I like to run the two. It's always useful, especially, like I said, since you can easily have your arrows set up in the deck to use also. So I like to keep it at those numbers.
I also run two, Transmodify. This card really uh, sets, just like Unexpected Die, has easy setup for cards like your World Chalice, uh, World Legacy monster. Being able to get out your uh, level four with Unexpected Die, use the Transmodify on it to get out the World Chalice onto the field, or any of the monsters since you have levels ranging from one to five in the deck. So having this card be able to be usable with everything in the deck is what I really, really like about it. And then for some of the one ofs, I run one Foolish Burial, more setup in the graveyard for a lot of our different monsters, whether we want to special summon them or make use of their other effects. One, one for one, this is just an easy special summon for uh, World uh, Legacy Guard Dragon, if World Chalice Guard Dragon. If you didn't want to run one for one, you can try, for this card, you could try putting in reinforcements of the army to have a search for Beckon by the World Chalice. You can have an unexpected die search, and then you can normal summon the other copy out to go for the exceed play if you wanted to go that route. And the one, Monster Reborn for more special summoning from the graveyard. I uh, already stated that enough with World Legacy Succession and how useful that is. And the one Emergency Teleport for getting out your level 3 Chosen by the World Chalice since it is a Psychic Monster. So you have that special summon play always available to you also. And if you open up the card early game, you can always shuffle cards back and still rely on the Emergency Teleport later on to special summon a monster out to the field. Sadly, it's only at 1. If it was at more, I would definitely recommend bumping it up to 3 but sticking for the two for now since we have this card only at one, like I said, for the deck. And to finish off the spells, I run three Call by the Grave. This one just helps for taking care of Ash Blossom, which is a real problem with the deck, being able to stop a lot of the special summons from the main deck onto the field, which is what you need to start a lot of your plays as well. So having this card to rely on in the main deck definitely does come in handy. And then for the traps, I run one World Legacies Sorrow being searchable, just like the spells in the deck. When your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect, will you control a co-linked monster? Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. You can only activate one World Legacy Sorrow per turn. It's a counter trap, so you can also stop Solemn cards, you name it, as well. And having that co-link on the field can help to take out those cards. And I also run one Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine, with this one being an easy summon onto the field to get a monster to use for resources. If you don't want to run Shade Brigadine, you can try putting in a second World Legacy Sorrow for that option for the counter traps, as well since you don't really use life for anything else, except for the Shine Ball, so having this to rely on for your negations definitely does help. And that is it for the main deck. When I move on to the extra deck, I run two Imduck the World Chalice Dragon. You need one normal monster except a token to make it. During your main phase, you can normal summon one World Chalice monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. And at the start of damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, this card points to you, you can destroy that opponent's monster. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one World Chalice monster from your hands. You can also get out World Legacy World Chalice with this card. It's an easy link monster to make, giving you that additional normal summon as well. It gives you the link to option for that play into a bunch of our other different World Chalice monsters. So I definitely like to run two of this card for that play. I also run one Orem, the World Chalice Blade Master. This is more your powerhouse card. You need two World Chalice monsters to make this card, but also giving you that boost for gaining attack for each World Legacy monster in your graveyard with a different name. Definitely does come in handy, but also just having that link option arrow definitely helps as well with this card. I also run one Ib, the World Chalice Priestess. For the link arrow setup, if you get the arrows going, you can go for the extra link as well with the amount of cards you have. You just need two monsters with different types and attributes, which can easily be done with all all the different monsters we run in the deck and the different attributes we run also for these cards. I only like to run one of each though. You can easily shuffle them back with cards like Exodius to reuse, so you can rely on that. And they have pretty good power up as well, so if you set up Orem with your uh, Imduck early on and then have the Ib set up there, you can hit more and more Link Arrows as well for your plays. And I also run one Ningirsu, the World Chalice Warrior. Just this card, if it's Link Summon, draw cards equal to the number of World Chalice monsters this card points to. Easy draw power, and also just being able to send one card from each player's field to the graveyard helps you take care of some of your opponent's cards that can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. For other Link monsters, I run one Link Spider with all the normal monsters, just easy field swarm with this card as well. One IP Masquerina for the easy links on your opponent's turn by having uh, monsters you control for your bigger Link plays. One Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn for more generic plays. Uh, one Saryuja definitely does help with all the linking you can do. And I like to go into the uh, Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax by using IP Mascarena 
for that and then all of the other link monsters we control can easily be done as well. I also now for the synchros run one Ib the World Chalice Justiciaire. With this one, if this card is synchro summoned, you can add one World Chalice normal monster you control as the tuner monster. You can only use each of the following effects of Ib the World Chalice Justiciaire once per turn. If this card is synchro summoned, you can add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. Very, very easy to synchro summon this card in the deck and giving you that option for the search for all your different spells uh, definitely does help and the trap we run. And if this synchro summon card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can special summon one World Chalice monster from your deck or graveyard except World Chalice Justiciaire. I like having this, and like I said, the level 3 monsters helps to go for Borload Savage Dragon with all the Link monsters we make. Giving us that option is a true power play in itself when we can get the big Link monsters out and then late game go for the Synchro plays. And I also run one World Chalice Guard Dragon Almer Duke with this one needing three Link monsters to make it another powerhouse, being able to attack your opponent's monsters once each and also burn them for damage by destroying other ones. I like to run the one. It's a World Chalice option from the later pack Dark Neo Storm. That definitely did come in handy for the deck, I would say. So having it at one, when you have those Link options available to you, definitely does help. And the one Digusto and Morale, just for the shuffle back of your normal monsters or your monsters in general and special summoning out normal monsters for more Link plays with this card definitely does come in handy. And that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're looking for a deck that can easily link summon out a bunch of different monsters, I would definitely invest looking into this for all the different plays. Hopefully we may get some more support for it down the line with some of the upcoming packs. Maybe a uh, Exceed monster that fully focuses on the World Chalice. But until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.